Okay, g'day, and welcome to uh, Aussie Vision. This is our fourth little audio recording of reviewing the semi finals of Eurovision. What are we up to now, up Michael? To, uh, second half, uh, sorry, second half, second semi final. Yeah, that's yes, correct. We're, we're in the home stretch. We're in the home stretch. We are. This is, we're almost through. Well, we've got the other big ones to do after this yeah, as well. Yeah, we've still got the big six. But um, I'm looking forward to this one. Mm. I think we've got some interesting songs. Interesting is a Interesting, word. it could be good or bad. <laughs> yes. And I think we've got both. Uh, well, we're going to start off with a fairly bad one. Well, I, I think. think this will, <laughs> as you, I remember we spoke about in, in maybe um, the second half of uh, semi final one about evoking strong emotions, and mm-hmm. I feel that we could be looking at that for this one. Yeah. But without yeah. further ado, let's crack into it, and I'm so glad that they're there. I'm glad they don't shy away as a small nation. Welcome, as always, San Marino. Oh, oh and Valentina Moneta and Jimmy Wilson with Spirit of the Night. Do I start? Yes. Okay, okay. <laughs> Deep breath. Someone call security. <laughs> Why? We, we have a Eurovision stalker. This person keeps coming back. <laughs> and I'm not... What is going on? Valentina is back. She's back. Don't understand how, like, seriously, someone block her. Look, San Marino, bless, bless San Marino. Who would it be? Who would it be? What would, what would uh, you remember? Well, there's like, it's like a town in Victoria here in Australia called Ballarat, (laughs) Bendigo. It'd be like them going to Eurovision. Eurovision, exactly. I know, and to be honest. Cheryl from Bendigo (laughs) seven times or whatever, or nine times, four times. I think she's only done it four times. Okay, all right, okay, sorry. All right, let's get back on track. Let's get back to Valentina, shall we? She can't be ignored. Look, San Marino's uh, entry this year, what can I say? I, I've got nothing really nice to say about this in my notes. Um, Siegel's returned, Valentina's returned. This is, this is a shocker. I, I, it just doesn't do it for me at all. It's so dated. It's just, it's not even, it just, Ralph Siegel think this is contemporary dance music. It's not. It really isn't. It's not. If you had to pick a year when this might have potentially been not awful. What year would it be? 1873. No. No, look, it, it's... I don't know. Is it even, like, mid-90s? Is it early no, 90s? Maybe early 2000s. Like, late 90s, maybe. Late 90s, maybe. Because there was that awful no. bit of late 90s, early 2000s that was even terrible. Even Gina G was better than this. Like, but this more is a bit... Yeah. <laughs> God, you're saying Gina G is more... Cont- that song is more contemporary than this. I would prefer to listen to Gina G today. I mean, today, I would prefer to listen to it with a sound. This, you know, this... Okay. No, look, I just, I just don't like... Like it. It's just not good, oh. you know. I mean, I get it. She's got a following of fans, and she certainly has her hardcore Eurovision fans. But no, it's a no for it's a net no go away. <laughs> no. no, I know. Look, there's part of me I kind of love when I heard there was going to be a duet, and it was it was going to be someone from San Marino, which is obviously the, the one female singer from <laughs> San Marino, and someone else. I was like, oh my god, Sir Hat. And Valentina. See? That would be so good. Back. So that was better than this. At least, at least they kind of were being a bit like, we know a shit. We're a bit not great. Sorry for my language. <laughs> but we're not great. And we're just going to kind of like enjoy it and have a bit of fun with it. Mm-hmm. You've brought in like, he's American, isn't he? Apparently. I think he's yeah. from Detroit or something. Mm-hmm. Like, God, jo- unemployment is bad in Detroit, <laughs> isn't it? He's got a job in San Marino. He had to go to San Marino to sing yeah. this awful song. Yeah. And that, the thing is, it's the music video. Oh. <gasps> It's, it's like, I'm sorry, it's like Karen from Finance has gone <laughs> on a night out after too many wines at work exactly. with, you know, her girlfriends and then she decides to throw herself at, like, the nearest man. It's not good. It's not good. And, every, not good. and what club is this? No one, <laughs> there's no one young there. Is it like an it's over 28 night? I'm pretty oh, sure. Oh, I think it's over 40s, maybe. <laughs> like, let's be honest. Oh, no. But I look, know, I know it's, and we shouldn't make fun can of Can I just say, I, I, can I, but this is Eurovision. I'm glad she's there. I'm loving that she's there and I'm loving this is her fourth time mm-hmm. you know this isn't her best song definitely <laughs> um, can't name one that was no, no but... maybe it wasn't bad maybe it was all right wasn't it it and made the final crystallized the, the one that everyone like ra- the fans lose their stuff about which i wow. don't I'm sorry fans i do not understand that mm-hmm. but whatever the san marino divides people we are definitely on the the, the side of a reality yeah and know that this is an awful song I'm glad she's there, but it's a no from me. It's a no, it's going to be the longest three minutes of my life. Uh, this this is just terrible. 
I'm sorry. And this is like opening the second half. <laughs> well, it's maybe, coming after Ireland, so maybe it might end maybe up being it might all right. End up, like, could yeah. you imagine if it got through? No, no I can't no. imagine it's going to get through. It's I couldn't. I couldn't. Okay, let's. Like, we've slagged off on it. Okay. All apologies to the kingdom of. Um, of I'd like to go. Principality of San Marino. I'd I feel like, like to go. I feel like we could turn up with a tambourine. Yeah. We <laughs> might be next year's entry. We might entry. be next year's entry. <laughs> exactly. Uh, look, it's. I'm not going to rate it. I'm going to rate it. I give it a 55. This is the lowest rating I give for the entire competition. It's the worst song in the competition. I'm I, sorry. Look, I have. I've given it 40. Um, <laughs> which isn't actually bad for me Considering you gave something 12 <laughs> yeah. Because to, to be honest There has been a few times when it's been on When I'm at the gym and I'm like oh, I'll listen to it because it's upbeat um, I'll give it that oh, God. That's the only thing I'll give about it And it's a definite no to make it through oh, I think we can, no. move, we can move on quite It's a quickly. no and remove it from the building and never come back Please, <laughs> please, please. Alright we're done with San Marino I think, We are well, I think the world's done with San Marino But we move on to another very interesting act Croatia, Jacques Udek with my friend. Okay, um, wow, this one. Um, I don't even know where to start. How is he going to do it is the big question. Obviously, he's talented. He sings in two very distinct voices and he has an amazing voice. And well, I like both of them. Well, <laughs> I really well, do. I, like I also them. presume he has got a good voice because he's not performed it live anywhere. Um, or yes. even pretended to perform it live like Macedonia and oh, Greece. Oh, Greece. <laughs> yeah. So they, uh, like, it's it's a bit of an un- But I'm guessing he is a good live performer because you wouldn't try to do the two voice thing. Puts his glasses on yeah. like Clark Kent and Superman, and suddenly <laughs> exactly. is. That's what I love about things. the video. All of a sudden, he puts on a pair of glasses, but different. Birds. There's a lot of singing over the top of each other at points. Yes. And how is that going to work? Mm, yeah. Is he going to do the thing where he kind of like jumps from one half of his body to the other oh, half of his body? Please don't do that. But to be please honest, I don't think he could probably. He doesn't seem very agile. Like I don't know if he's going to be able <laughs> I to imagine him prowling around the stage like no. a cat. And like, no, and like, like also like flipping between the two. Yes. Of them. So I think he's just going to showcase his voice. And do you know what? If that works, which it could, mm. that would actually be quite stunning. Yep. It would be a good vocal performance, a little bit like Netherlands, but again, I actually probably prefer this song to Netherlands. Oh, definitely. I actually don't mind singing along to it now. I, 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 I mean, it's a bit of, it's kind of was a bit of a joke the first time, but I've kind of grown to kind of have a guilty pleasure with it a little bit. <laughs> there's no need to I, feel guilty. There's I no don't know how guilty. I'm going to end up feeling about it in the end of it, but I think there's potential there. Mm. Yeah. Oh, look, I'm going to say... I love this. I really oh. like this. There's there's so many great elements to this. His voices, <laughs> the voices in his head. No, the voices are really really good. Like uh, again, which one do you prefer? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know if I like. I mean, I like opera Jacques. Nah, I like the other one. I like the yeah. No, he's got a really good voice. Yeah. Voice. I like it's it's amazing. Again, I, you just you just really are dumbstruck on how they're going to do this. Um, but if you can pull it off, this could be one of the most epic, memorable things of the whole competition. It's going to be no matter what happens, even if it doesn't make the if final. It's a burning flame. No, of but mess. people will still yeah. watch it in five, ten years. Yeah, yeah. It, this it's, could be groundbreaking. I just come on, Croatia. Well, I wouldn't bring say it. groundbreaking. It just depends on how they do it, how they stage it, how they shoot it. If as hopefully they'll do the song justice, because I really think it's a good song. I really do like. I think you're stretching and saying it's a good song. It's it, it's. Like, it's an okay song. It, it, you know, we talk about emotion. This evokes an emotion in me, I have to say. So what changed? Because I think at first you ridiculed this song. Well, I think... I think we spoke about this two is, months this ago. This is what I'm going to say. If, I, I'm not entirely sure audiences on the first listen are going to get this. But that's and what this, Eurovision's all about. Exactly. And, and this could be an issue for him. Because certainly by the third or fourth listen to it, after I'd stopped laughing... I, I was like, wow, this is really good. I really like it. I really, really like this. Just please, please, I hope they get it right. Because okay. It, well, could be a, it could be a flaming mess, yeah. uh, or it could be epic. This, okay. this, this could go either way. could go either way. Well, what's your personal rating for this? I gave it 75. 75 out of 100. 75? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yes. Yeah, right. like, this is a really. I think it's a good. Good. Where does that like? Where is that right? I'm looking at your thing. So you've got this better than Hungary. Yeah. You've got this better than. Oh God. Well, less than Denmark, though. Thank yeah. God. 
Yeah, okay. So it's pretty good. It's like All a right. midfield kind of score. Oh, midfield kind Jesus. of score. Okay, well, look, I've got this as a 55 for me. All right. Um, it's just what I gave San Marino. Well, yeah, but like, it's a little bit different. Because I've kind of got... a little bit different. I've, I've kind of got it there with going, look, I, I, it's a bit of a novelty factor song, I think, in a way. Um, I don't know how I feel about it until I think I see it live. So therefore, mm, uh, it, yes. it's probably even towards the 60, but I'm going to stick with my 55. All right, fair enough. Is it going to get through? I had it on the edge. I do have it on the edge, but I'm going to say because of the first listen factor, um, I don't know if the public are going to get on board. I think the juries are going to like it. Uh, I'm going to say it's just going to miss. So it's like 11 or 12 for you? Yeah, kind of thing. Around about that. Around about that. Okay, well, I might surprise you and say I see this qualifying. I see this qualifying because <laughs> when people, when I've seen it online of people voting for it, it doesn't get many votes, but when it does, it gets 12s. Okay. And I think you're going to get a very small percentage who go, oh my God, like this guy who's on these two voices and mm. this like, I'm amazing. Mm. And they're going to pick up the phone and vote for him. And some juries are going to love that because of the vocal ability. Absolutely. Um, it's technically going to be very difficult. And I think it's going to I think it's going to sneak through. I don't think it deserves to. Oh. But I think I've put this to get through. You're very harsh, Dale. You're very I, harsh. I just said it's going to get through. How's it harsh? <laughs> like, you don't like ha- it, I mean. I know I do, I do like it, All but right. it doesn't deserve to. I, I was the one who said I don't think it's going to get through, and I'm calling you harsh. I um, know. Look, I, I just, yeah. No, but this is my head rather than my heart. Fair like, enough. No, 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 yeah, no, I, no, I can no. see. I can see why people might do it. I can have my egg on my face, and this could come last. Hmm. But oh, I, totally. I, yep. I can see it. I can see it getting through. Well, anyway, Jacques, I'll be your friend, definitely. I hope you get through. I really, really do hope you get through. You can have the beer with him. <laughs> I don't know. I'm busy. Beer with him. <laughs> he's good. He's he's really good. Anyway, oh, well, I guess we kind of agree to kind of agree on that one. <laughs> yeah, like do we? we kind of I think well, we kind of agree. Yeah, you like it. I think it'll get through. I you don't think it'll like get it. through? And I don't really I mean, like Eurovision's it. all about sort of unique things, and this is definitely unique. In a good That's way. That's true. When I You've got to stand out. Yeah, yeah. And he stands out. He's going to stand out, all right. We're talking about maybe not being able to stand out. We've got Norway next. <laughs> Norway. It's mm. Yost with Grab the Moment. Oh, I guess I won't. I'm going to start on this one, yeah. isn't it? Look, I'm yep. from, the, um, from the national final. I've got to say, when I listened to all the songs, this didn't stand out to me at all. I, I, don't, I, I didn't remember when we listened exactly. to it. Exactly. No. I, I just I didn't, didn't work for me at all. Um, but it's, it's a grower. It's definitely a grower. I, 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 I was talking to you about it this earlier. I think maybe I've got a blind spot on this one because I'm not. It's not really wowing me. That that it seems to get a few votes from fans or whatever. I don't know. This, it's okay. It's radio friendly. It's modern. It's definitely modern and contemporary. It's just I don't know if it's really that good. <laughs> That's the problem for me. It's not catching me. It's not grabbing me. I don't really know how you feel about that. It's not that. grabbing me. Do you like it or do you? It's not grabbing me by the yelst. That's yeah. what I'm saying. It's, I, I like it, but yeah. I'm just a bit ambivalent. Do you listen to it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I'm not excited when I listen to it. Okay, it's just there. It's there, yeah. And and uh, is that enough for Eurovision? No. From what I've seen of their live performances, nothing's going to jump out. Well, I, I think you hit a nail on the head when you said um, it's, it's a grower. Mm. But in Eurovision... It's all about a shower. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it has to be. Yeah, it has to be, yeah. It's yeah. Like, there's no point, like, going, hang on, wait for it, wait for it. It's going to be big. Yep. No, this is, like, nothing at the start. Mm. You're not impressed from the start, and you don't have time because there's 26 others to check out in the meantime. Mm-hmm. So, uh, for me, this is just, ugh, nah. I-, I like listening to it on my playlist. I think it is quite contemporary. I agree mm. with you on mm. that one. Um, you've got the dude in the gimp mask thing yeah. going on, <laughs> yeah. which, is, which is a little bit Daft Punk. Yeah, Daft exactly, punk. exactly. And I, I like the guy. Punk. I think he's like he's, he's he, he dresses cool. He seems like actually decent, like kind of cool guy mm-hmm. as well. And I like them. But I kind of watched him on stage. I watched that winning performance from Norway, and I almost fell asleep. Like, yeah, like Jesus yeah. Christ Almighty! Like it was just nothing to it. You can't just have some guy like doing something with a mask on and him just standing there like looking all right, but. Just singing a song. Mm. I, I mean, it I, just I, doesn't. It just doesn't work. Going back to the national final, I didn't think there was any songs that really did it for me too much. Yeah, there was, was one. Ulrika, was I think, with yeah. places was, yeah. was a good. Was but it good. kind of sound like a bit of a weak 
paper or with yeah, everything scandy. It was scandy pop. So it thing, was kind of a poor scandy pop. I certainly didn't see this happening. Um, God, no. No. I would, but, rather, but that, I would rather a hard rock thing that they yeah, had going on. Yeah. Or even a country <laughs> song with those old dudes. Like, <laughs> at least I would have stood out. Yeah. The thing is, sometimes the best song from the national finals doesn't stand out at your origin. And mm-hmm. this is exactly this one. Yeah. Like, But some fans are going nuts for this. I like it. It's contemporary. It's good. It's solid. It's going to be one of those ones you're going to have to wait for the recap to even remember it, to be honest. Yeah. They're going to have to maybe really pick up that staging or something. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we're very, we're pretty much underwhelmed here, but without mm. hating on it. So what's your yeah. score? 76. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard from you. Are you it's serious? Good, it's a good, strong song. I've never it heard deserves. you sound so just disinterested about a song. <laughs> but it's and still, then you give it 76? It's still a good song. Are Whether you serious? I like it or not. Whether I like it or not. It, it, you uh, just uh, like came into bat for Croatia and you gave it at 75. And you reckon this yeah, is better than Croatia? I think it's one up from Croatia. Oh, I mean, you're insane. Probably. Like, you had issues. Yes. Like, you guys, <laughs> I'm really worried about you. Um, like, do you know, like, have you got, like, something wrong with your number it's, ability? As I say, you know what? Give it another week after I've heard this song another ten times. I'm probably going to give it a 78 or something. But the thing it is... It just grows and grows and grows on you. But, but... I, I'm worried about that first hit factor, and I don't think it's got it. That's Look, I, I'm, well, actually, I must say, for me, I'm just looking at my rating, I've given it a 60, oh. um, which is actually, I think, a bit too high from what I'm saying about it. Because um, I think I do enjoy listening yeah, to it. Yeah, I do. But it's not a Eurovision song. Mm. It's not a Eurovision song. And for me, this is a, even though people are expecting this to get through, this is a definite no for me. Oh, okay. Maybe juries might like it, but the tally vote is going to be terribly low. It is not going to get through. See, I'm the opposite. I don't think juries will buy this too much. Well, they I might like the, the contemporary vote, But I think, that, I think the tally vote, it's, it, it sings to a younger audience, and that's what Eurovision needs to do. Not and I don't think that's final, nece- necessarily a bad thing. I've got it as a maybe, but I'm putting it on the no side, to be honest. I, I don't think this is going to get... Well, you've got to have one on the other. It's a no for you. It's a no. Okay. It's a no. It's a niet. All right. Niet. All right. Poor Norway. Oh, no. No, no, no. Are we done? We are done. Let's it's go better to than that song they sent last year, that whatever was... I like it. Icebreaker. Yes. No, I like that. No. Even though it went... Instead of going up, it went down. Like, yeah, there was two different songs then, happening there. I'm not really sure what was going and on. And she was wearing a doily. <laughs> and there was that man trapped in that frozen bit. I know. I'm yeah. not sorry. Yeah. Someone released him. He's still there. I'm I sure. liked it. it was better, but the thing is, that is way better than this year. No. In my opinion. No. I have to disagree with you. Uh, no. But anyway, we'll argue about 2016 well, yeah. another day. Yes, yeah, true. Switzerland. Switzerland. Yes. It's Time Bell and Apollo. Alright, so Switzerland. I think I'm starting, aren't I? You're going to start. Okay, Um, and I'm going to be controversial on this one. Well, it's actually, it's only controversial between us, because I like this song. Mm. And you know what, Mike? The fans like this song. Oh, well. This consistently is polling quite well in the OJ poll, in all the other ones, anything online. it's, it's, It's getting in top 10, or towards top 10. But I do, as much as I just say there and say that I like it, and that I think it's doing well, it's starting to get a little bit lost. And I do agree with you that, well, you haven't spoken yet. Yeah, I was going to say, I haven't slated it off yet. You can agree with I, you, you haven't seen his facial expressions. <laughs> but it is, I guess, a little bit, maybe, it would have been really good two or three years ago. Mm-hmm. She performs it fantastically well. That national um, fine performance... She the R movement. It's so Eurovision. Who doesn't love armography? Everyone oh my god, the armography was fantastic. Terrific, it's terrific. really, really good. The song was really solid. I really enjoyed it. It wasn't actually my favorite song from um, Switzerland that year. Mm. Um, that year, that national <laughs> final. National final. What was that song called? Cela C- or Cela oh, Air or something was, like Air or Cela like yeah, 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 yeah. Cela Vert. That was our favorite by far. Gosh, Look, yes. I like this song a lot. I think she can perform it very well. I'm worried about it being dated. A little bit to a couple of years ago. So it depends. Will the public like as much as the fans do? Because mm. I don't think the jury's going to like it. You all, so that's got 48% of the vote of the public vote in that's, Switzerland. That's so, big. So obviously, yes, huge, huge yeah. tally vote. So obviously the public, if it gets chucked out there, seems to like it. Well, the mm-hmm. Swiss public. Then again, they probably voted for Riker as well. Um, <laughs> True. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is definitely a step up from Riker. It is. Oh my God, yeah. yeah. It's probably their yeah. best song in a few years, actually. Yeah, I don't like that Hunter, Hunter of the Stars. stars. Whatever. Wasn't that was good. good. That but was that good. was like, what, anyway, 2013 <laughs> or 14? 
14. Okay. 14, yeah, 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 okay. in Denmark. Yeah, okay, so you like this one, is that what you're saying? Yeah, I do like it. I, it's solid for me. Um, it was consistently in my top 10 for a long time, mm-hmm. but when it came to the crunch of voting for like OJ, I didn't put it in my top 10. Oh, it, when it came down to the crunch, the cookie uh, crumbles. I think as more songs came on, I kind of, it just, it started to fall away a bit. Mm-hmm. That's all. Yeah, fair enough. But I, don't, I, I like it. I, I'm, I, it's a solid song. I like yeah. it. Look, and, and uh, ever since the national final songs came out, I liked it. This was okay, but this is this is what I've written here is just okay. It's okay. Yeah, true. It's 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 a little bland. So sort of plods along there for a while. Uh, it's it, it's a lot of it's going to be her and her performance of it. She is very much going to be the the make she can or lift break. It. Yes, but ultimately it's forgettable. It really is forgettable. But she's not. And the thing is, I reckon you got to always. I like an act who can perform live. And mm-hmm. they're course. proven that they can do it. When we've got a lot of songs yep. in this semi-final that we're a little bit like, how's it going to translate? This is going to do well. We knew the Switzerland people... The Swiss, 48%. 48% pick Swiss. out the phone and vote. Loved it. Yep. Fair enough. And it's not a bad song. It's not a bad song. It is a good song. It is a good song. That's the first time you've said that. Oh, no. <laughs> I've said that before. <laughs> uh, look at okay, that. Well, I just find it a little bland. Oh, that's all. It's, you know, it's just like eating buttered toast. It's nice. Did you... But well, it's not fantastic. Has know. this song been put out before? Yeah, apparently it's been shopped around, apparently. I think Azerbaijan turned it down a few years ago. Mm. Um, and maybe a few years ago, this might have been a really, really that, that's, captive sort of song. To me, but, it's not It's not like it's dated, because it's no. It's just a little bit not on trend. And they reworked it. It's like two it. or three years ago. And they've reworked it and put a few little le- electronic in the yeah. background or whatever. Yeah. It doesn't make it any better. No. <laughs> but, you know... You're right. And yeah. I think one of the best bits and we watched the live performance again last night all the kind of rose petals falling down really yep. makes it and it's really good visual but as you say you can't do that on the Eurovision no, stage no poor buggers are going to clean that up in 45 seconds you can't yeah. do that no. and and that was the, the moment and when you watch that recap you see those petals falling down you're like I love it the arms mm. are going up that's not going to happen. No. So maybe but, the live won't be. You know, good. maybe they can they can pump up the staging a little on this somehow. It'll be interesting. You know, because okay. she's certainly charismatic. The lead singer is certainly charismatic, and and there's there's. I like when we get these songs that she, you don't necessarily think that we're going to speak a lot about them. Because I'd be like, oh, well, this is a bit like mid range for both of hmm. us, you know, in different ways. Hmm. But yet we end up speaking yeah. about the mid range <laughs> quite a lot because I think because well, there's a lot to be Because I about think them, there's I a lot. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes a bit, they don't have to be controversial. It's like, what's going to happen with this? Yeah, yeah. There's certainly potential for it, but I'm not. I'm not. Like, what's your rate? Jumping. I'm 71. I gave this, so it's not a bad song. It's not a bad song at all. Well, I always worry when our votes are close because I think that means we disagree highly oh, oh, oh. because our voting structure is very different. <laughs> I've given this a 69. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's so high. So even for you. though, yeah, I mean, it is high for me, but it's very low for you for a 71. Mm. Um, yeah, this is to me. I think I've got about 15th overall, 16th or something like that. Okay. Yeah. Do you reckon it's going to get through? Are we going to be seeing them on Sunday morning here in Melbourne? Do you know what? This came down to the edge. Just before we came on here, I had about three songs about who's going to make it through. And I've controversially said it's not going to get through. <gasps> Audible gasp. It's what? A, it's, a sim- it's because you know why? The fans love it, but the public aren't going to pick up the phone for this. The jury's going to see through the slight datedness of it mm. and I think it's going to finish 11th oh that's a little hard and maybe by a point I think this is a very close semi-final yep. you've got to remember Switzerland, I agree. Switzerland don't have any friends yeah, poor they're, Switzerland. they're so bloody neutral. Yeah, I know. Yeah, everyone's exactly. like, "All right, sit on the fence so much." It's like you choosing one. maybe all the time. Yeah, like it just gets like a you bit... know, you'll never guess where I wrote for this one. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Valentina. Hey, Valentina. Yeah. Gosh, she haunts me. That woman. Yeah. Um, look, I had a maybe, and you're right. It came right before we started recording this. I had to make a decision, and. I've got to say, I think you're going to miss out. I think you're going to miss out Switzerland. And, and that, I this hate is a start. very controversial decision, I think. Yeah, because, because it's getting really high votes in some of the OJ I'm polls. very confused by that, to yes. be honest. Yeah, yeah I, I am. Yeah. I like, and I'm like. I mean, I understand why Romania gave them votes in the OJ poll, because she's Romanian. The least yeah, okay. Whatever, yeah, but, yeah. but yeah, it's it leaves me cold, this one, a little. Mm. Okay, mm. all right, fair yeah. enough. Fair well, right. let's move on to... Belarus, which something think, that doesn't leave me cold. No, because this this is a fascinating entry. It is, and what is it, Michael? <laughs> I've been practicing. It's Navi Band with Historia Mayor Zicha. 
Amazing. And what does that translate to? I have no idea. I think it's, no, it's, it's my story. No, no. Story of my life. My story? No, story of my life. Oh, story of life? My God, somehow I could say it in Belarusian, but I couldn't say it in English. It doesn't really matter. Story of my life. Well, you know what it is. The, it happy, the it, happy clappy song. It really doesn't matter. Yeah. All right, okay. You can start on this one. Well, well, I get to start on this one. Well, I believe, I'm from memory, uh, straight off the top of my head, Belarus were the first uh, national final to be decided. I think it was no, definitely Al- one of the first ones. That, one of the first. Oh, Albania yeah, was Albania was, was first. Ahead. She yeah. hasn't improved. Uh, and, <laughs> no. Um, and from the first listen, this wasn't the favourite to get through. I think Noteki was the favourite to get through in the national final. And even when we saw it, we did have a little bit of a chuckle about... It's quite... Can I please just just jump in here? <laughs> we... The same day we... Okay, we had one day where we listened to Finland, Estonia and Belarus. Now, we got to Belarus last, and it looked a bit like an X-Factor kind of performance for everybody. Did. This staging I is... liked it. Okay. You laughed at it. I probably And I said, little, that's yeah. actually really good. Yeah. So, I will not be put in your camp, thank you very much, <laughs> Michael Jones. Well, all right, fair uh, enough. I've stopped I liked laugh. it anyway, from the get-go. Anyway, Navi Band, I stopped laughing at it, and I really, really love this song. I think it's fantastic. I've got written down here, charming... It's genuine. It's it's you can feel the emotion in this. This is this is written by these guys. This is performed by these guys. This is the anti bloody Scandi pop by the numbers yep. that we're being served up time and time again, and it really shines through. It really really shines through. It, it's such a great entry. I think it's from uh, from my memory the best Belarusian entry I can think of. Yeah, and they get to sing in Belarusian. How has yep. it taken so long? Um, is, is this the first time? The been first a... time I believe that Belarusian yep. will be performed. It's such a beautiful language. <laughs> well, they make it beautiful. <laughs> they do. They yep. do. And and there's just something about these two as a performers. Uh, and as I say, the song, it's just, it, it really is authentic and I really get it. I yeah. get it. And I'm halfway around the world in Australia and don't understand yeah. a bloody word they're saying, but somehow it makes me feel good and I like it. Yeah. And I think, I think you even said, um, when we saw the video recently, you were like, it's done in one take. Mm. I mean, I'm sure it wasn't the only take, but it's yeah. not like, it's, 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 it's <laughs> one. down that hill 75 times when yeah. I finally but got the But at the same time, take. like, it's not edited out, like, because... I think the strongest thing about them, they have very strong live performance. Mm, yeah. The song is way better live. There's they exude this emotion and this mm. charm that you said just before that you can't help just feel happy watching them. And I think this is going to be quite the shock of Eurovision this year. Um, along, I think we're, we're getting a bit of a backlash this year. I reckon we're going to see songs like Italy and Portugal, and Belarus, all doing really quite well. Non-English songs. Good, good. That's what Eurovision's about. It's and about different cultures. There's going to hark back to it. But also, like, a bit of both. Yep. Everyone loves a good Scandi pop oh, song. God, yeah. I bloody love a good Scandi <laughs> pop song. But I don't want 20 Scandi pop exactly. songs. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, if, all, I mean, if, if can 27 say, entries are all written by Swedish people, exactly. it just becomes a little bit oh, generic. And, and also, if you're just getting paid that much, you kind of, like, lose the passion, and it gets a bit meh after all that. This is... A great song. Mm. Loved it from the start. Their live performance is absolutely fantastic. They're going to bring it on the night. And I think it'll be really charming. And I love the song as well. I think it went through a stage when I first heard it. I was like, this is going to be definitely top 10 yeah. overall. But we kind of both went a little bit as all the other songs came on. Mm-hmm. And we listened to this a lot. And I've, been, kind of, I've been listening to this for went, three months. Kind we kind of, thing, of went yeah. off it a little bit. And yeah. then when you step away from it, you reintroduce it again. you got to remember, this is... When people hear it for the first time, mm-hmm. they're going to get that charm again. Yes. And I think we've both revisited and gone, actually, yes, we do love this, this song. This is really We good. remember why we love this, this song. Good. And I was concerned about other songs not having a wow factor in their first listen. Yeah. This is going to have a wow this factor. This is going to have a wow factor. This, this is, this it's is... not going to be everybody. There's no, going to be a whole people. No. I reckon you can have 50% of people go, oh, this is like some like... What the hell is going song. on? <laughs> but other people are going to be like, oh my God, this is amazing. This is really good. Yeah, You'll really be good. clapping along halfway through it. Yeah, yeah, 100%. If they can bring that energy that they normally bring to that live Supported. Yes, it really is. That, it'll come across really good on TV, and it, they'll love it in the stadium. It'll be fantastic. I oh, totally. So, agree. what's your personal rating for this? S- song? Personal rating on this one is seventy six. Okay, I think yeah. it's a really good song. I think it's really upbeat. I, I really, really like it. I yeah. really like it. I've got a seventy for this. Oh, good. I, I wow, really that's enjoyed. High it. for you, Dale. Yeah, it was originally God. always. It was always in my top ten, and it just dropped out the last. Moment. I think when I had to do my top ten, it was like. 11th or 12th. Oh, okay. It was really tough. I think it was, between, it was between them and Hungary in the end, I think. And I oh, just okay. liked Hungary a little bit better. Mm-hmm. Um, 
I think it's going to get through. Mm. I think it's going to get through. Do you, do you have concerns about perhaps not being commercial or anything like that? Do you... Doesn't matter. No. We have a, there's a tradition in Eurovision where you, yeah, you're going to have your commercial songs. Mm. Sometimes some of the most commercial songs fail Eurovision. Don't forget in UK, the, Eurovi- the, the best performing charting song the last 20 odd years has been Scooch. Oh. Flying the flag came f- got number five on the UK charts. It came like twenty first or eighteenth yeah. or nineteenth. Says a lot about the UK. I love that song, by the way. Yeah. But like, it just goes to show you, commercial doesn't always mean Eurovision success. It's one night. It's a mm. live performance. It's something different. I agree. Yeah. The, the Will dip- I be listening to this in a year or two? Probably not. Will I go back and revisit the live performance when I'm watching a YouTube clip at like Saturday morning, three a.m. <laughs> after too many drinks? Probably. Will I do the live? Will I do the dance? What a sad snapshot of your life, Dale. What a it, sad snapshot of your is, life. It is. It is. It is. <laughs> well, well, anyway, <laughs> I, I don't, I'm not sure we're off to Minsk next year. We're not off to Minsk, but um, I've got a, this a terrific through. entry. You've got this through. I've got this through. Yep. I've got this through. And okay, in the final, where's it going to come? I've got a lot of things finishing in the lower top ten. <laughs> this could finish anywhere. Half the field is finishing the, in the lower top ten. Lo, anywhere, I've written eight, eight to eighteen. I think it's actually going to be a bit more of the eleven to fifteen area. Fair I think it, I could see it sneaking in with the top ten, but if it gets through, I think it will perform well. It'll think it'll stand out, and I think if we can make the top half. That yeah. would be oh, an amazing achievement. Terrific, terrific. For this such is a great the, song. This is the best um, Belarusian song since Soleo. I love Soleo. Yeah. Soleo. That was the best. That was a good song. All right, fair enough. I, I love this one. I really do. It's very authentic. It's so good to see that sort of stuff in Eurovision. Yeah. Yeah. All right, moving on to uh, really another like... Eastern European country who's yeah. been very successful the last very couple successful. of years. I'm a big fan. Big, big, big fan. Well, well, Bulgaria. It's Christian Kostov with Beautiful Mess. Um, and do I think it's a mess? Well, I certainly don't think it's a mess. I think this is a cracker of a song. Absolute cracker of a song. Um, a good, strong, contemporary man ballad. Um, and I do enjoy a man ballad. <laughs> is he a man, though? It's a boy ballad. Yeah, exactly. Oh. I think he's legally can't have a shot of vodka at, in, in, uh, in Bulgaria. But look, this is a really bloody good song. It's probably the antithesis. Is that a word? Or the, is yeah, this no, is the antithesis of what we just spoke about with Navi Band? Oh, 100%. This yeah. is well produced. This is well written. This is, you know... It, this it, is like we are putting in a good Eurovision and song. And they bloody have. Again, Bulgaria. He probably doesn't... I don't know. At this point, it's not as instantly likeable as Polly from last year. Because as soon as you heard that song, it was like, wow, that's a good bloody song. Mm, yeah, banner, I, I, banner. Had to be, I had to be one over the live performance from Okay. Her. I mean, a light-up dress and... Oh. How good was she? Kind of tick dance moves that she yeah, had or whatever. Was, that was fantastic. But this this is good. This is really, really good. I mean, he's landed a great slot in the semi-final. He's really charming. I've seen a couple of interviews with him. For a 17-year-old, this, guy, this guy's this guy got a career coming. And he's certainly the, the, the vocal ability of him as well really portrays it. You don't, I don't hear a 17-year-old when he sings. It, it's, I reckon this is, this is going to go very, very well. Very well. So, but do you? So you love it? I like it. I like. I listen to it. I, I, this is definitely not a skipper. This one. This okay. is great. Yeah. This is really, really good. Oh yeah. And look, we know it's one of the book. It's second favorite behind Italy. Mm. I and think, probably deservedly so. Too, and I, I think there's an element of. I also think. Look, you know, his um, one of his parents is Russian. That's right. I, I believe, believe so. The mother's Russian. The father's Bulgarian. Possibly? And I think. Th- I mean, I think that will help. We know the Russian vote does count. I think there was some really good analysis recently, even on a bad year, the countries that will have, and we're talking like 10, 12, 13 countries, will give Russia at least five, even when they did that awful performance in, what, 2011? Who was a guy where he looked like he was dressed like a <laughs> I don't know. I thought you meant the Bushki. No, they, they were amazing. Oh, no, they weren't. But, like, you know, like, I mean, even <laughs> if it's a bad song, you're going to get yep, a, exactly. like an average of five. And yep. last year was an average of 11 for Sogay. Wow. Which is an amazing, which is amazing song. And he deserves Should have won. Money. Robbed. Robbed. <laughs> even Australia's worst saying dummy wasn't robbed. Sergey was Sergey was bloody robbed. Even we yeah. robbed him. Australian juries did not yeah, give a point. And will. I'm a little bit disgusted by that, actually. Exactly. Yes. Anyway, podcast for another time. I di- I digress. I digress. <laughs> anyway, but he's gonna he's gonna benefit from the Russian vote. Mm-hmm. It is a good solid song. I love listening to the recorded version. Now, even last night we listened to his live version, and I think that he struggles on some of the high notes. 
Mm. And I think some of his maturity as an artist is a little bit lost there. I'm a bit worried. He is a little bit like Isaiah, but a bit better. Yeah. So he's got... I don't think he's got a better voice. I think Isaiah's actually got a better voice. I think he's got a better song, and yes. he's got a better stage presence. He seems a bit more established than Isaiah, but it's almost like just a better version of Australia, unfortunately. This is so annoying. <laughs> we, like, honestly, it's the same type of song. I agree. But a better song. It's a young guy singing a man ballad, um, yeah. th- and this is a good song. This is really good. We've yeah. got a good song too. I'm going to say yeah. Australia's got a very, very good song. Um, both are pretty good performers, but I reckon uh, uh, Chris, uh, Christian's like shading it at the moment. At I, the moment. Uh, he's definitely shading it, because I think he's de- it's, it's really going to come down to... On the night, who does the best live performance is mm. going to have a great Eurovision. Who does the second best is going to have an average Eurovision. Yeah. I can see one of them being top five and one of them being mm. and maybe I'm, 11 to 15. And I, get and I think Bulgaria, Bulgaria is going to be the, the top, top five. five. Yeah. Uh, look, yeah. I've also written here, jury tick, audience tick, staging. I have no doubts the Bulgarians will bring it with the staging. Um, you just need to make this atmospheric, really. Yeah. And let him do his thing with that terrible diastema in his teeth. Yeah. I just really want to kick a football between those those front this, teeth of his. Can I, I just have to like just say something? Like Mike's not being horrible physically. He just has like this kind of phobia about people with a diastema. I know. And well, Anya Neeson has so got does a big Lin, one. So does Lindita. I know. But you could fit Anya Neeson's head through the Bulgarian guy's gap in his teeth. Well, it's huge. Do something about it. Because all I find There's nothing doing, wrong with that. No, but all Madonna. I find myself doing is staring at do you do the that? gap in his teeth. But that's just you. That's just a personal thing. Oh, anyway, we've, we've, totally, we've got anyway. all over the place all right, with Bulgarian. All right, all right, okay. But it's, it's, it's an interesting song. It's a great song. Yep. I think there's elements around it that's going to influence it. I just think when I've seen him do his live performance, he's concentrating so hard about hitting those song, mm. those notes, uh-huh. a little bit like Isaiah, that I think there needs to be a lot going around for that staging and that performance where I think... It could take the focus away from that, maybe. Totally. Mm. So for me, I'll skip ahead and say, yes, this is going to get through. Originally, I was very confident about this probably finishing second. Mm-hmm. After a few live performances, I'm a bit worried, and I think like a Sweden will go ahead of him. I think I can oh. see him in third or fourth, but that's great. Top five again oh, for Bulgaria. That would be fantastic. great. That would be fantastic. Um, but I don't think I've seen a few comments. I remember someone on Twitter saying, We're going to Sophia uh, 2018. I'm like, We're not. Mm. Also, there's a lot of stray cats, so yeah. I kind of don't <laughs> want to go. Wrong with stray cats. No, well, we might um, have to get a few tetanus shots or something. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, that, that was in Junior Eurovision, wasn't it? Every shot they have of the city, there was some sort of manky stray cat involved. Yes, in in uh, Bulgarian uh, in Bulgaria. Look, I'm I'm going to say I don't think we're off to Sofia. No, because again, the large gorilla in the room will probably sort that out. Yeah. But having said that, I reckon he's a he's a top three mm-hmm. if he doesn't collapse on stage, kind of thing. Um, are we going to rate this one? We're going to rate this. Let's rate this. Seventy-seven for me. This is wow. This is his high. This is a really, really good song. Um, he's good. I've got yeah. Well done, Bulgaria. Take a bow. That's Take nice. A bow. Well, I just had the laptop I had in front of me with my scores just died. <laughs> so I'm going to go off the top of my head here. <laughs> one of us is more prepared than the other. Oh, the old pen and paper. <laughs> but look, what I put it down to is that the last couple, a like, few songs I've liked have been 71, which has been Hungary and Denmark. Australia was 72. I prefer Australia a little bit. Oh. I'll put this. I'll put this as a 71. Oh. Because I, 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 I don't like his live performances. I, I find his high bad. notes... I find it like a struggle to listen to. But right. I really like him. I like the song. And so I will just put it below. I'm not being patriotic on this one. Mm-hmm. But... <laughs> <laughs> It didn't make my top ten, and no, if I had a top ten either. with Australia in it, I would have put Australia in there. All right. About ninth or eighth. Okay. But we still think it's going to oh, be definitely. well. Oh, definitely. Yeah. And I already said that I think it's going to be top oh, five. Yeah, where, I, where I've already think? did. Forget the semi-final. He shouldn't even have to rock up. Yeah. <laughs> Just put him straight through. Just this straight is through. good. This is good. All right, so we, we're done with Bulgaria. We're done with well Bulgaria. Well done, we're done. We're done. Well done, Bulgaria. What's next? It's one of your personal favourite style, Lithuania. Oh. Fused Mark with Reign of Revolution. After all that supernova, we got this. How many weeks did that go for? We through, I think I six I, weeks. I was something. an embryo. Or, or six started, months. I believe. I think there was like something like I think I remember seeing a tweet or something. It was about like two hundred and twenty songs, six rounds, just three months. 
and that's what you chose. Uh, I'm all for a national final. Don't get me wrong. Oh, I love a national final. Wow. Hungary's a bit the same. Like yeah. there were so many, so many songs. Oh, I just don't get it. I, I like Finland's approach, where there was like, okay, we're going. <laughs> we, we've picked team for you. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Like yeah, where there's a little yeah. bit of internal selection, but then you kind of choose mm. from what we chose. Mm. Even UK, the way they did that this year. Yeah. Actually, we'll get on to this, but I actually think I didn't mind this. Yeah. But anyway, we, we don't. So do I have to talk about the song? Bloody Lithuania. Oh, yeah, you have to start. When I that. heard, like, the, the whole point is that going through all that process to get to that song, like, really, like. I'm sorry. It sounds so dated. Some of the 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 um uh, the backing music sounds like it's from 1987. Um, the, <laughs> That's good. The, the line, no, it's not. Um, the lines, no, it's not. It's not Denmark. Um, <laughs> it's look. It's. Uh, I just I just don't know what to do with this song because part of it I sometimes like a little tiny bit of it, but her live performance is atrocious. I like her look and I like they're trying to be different, but. It's a nonsensical song. It doesn't go anywhere. It's not going to translate. Lithuania, this is terrible. It is in my bottom three. I don't. I. I don't want to be totally horrifically negative, so I won't speak too much longer. That's it. <laughs> Do not like the song. I don't understand okay. why anyone doesn't would like it. Fair no, enough. it doesn't. It's awful. Well, it did win the jury votes and the public votes in Lithuania, so clearly they like it. So you know, good on them. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, maybe, maybe they see something we really well, don't. I think there's a little bit like I've enjoyed it a little I've enjoyed it to a point that I can hmm. listen to it. The longer I listen to it, so this is why if you have a long process, yeah, you sometimes choose a song that grows on you. But that's not a good thing because Eurovision's a one night thing. And the I, first time I heard this, I'm like, this is just noise. Yeah, it's just noise. I think that comes with the crazy a haircut. Lot of her sort of live performance, and uh, to be honest, I don't. I'm not gonna. I probably prefer the song a little more than Dale does. But it's, I quite like it, but I'm not really sold on it. It's not really, I can't imagine this really doing anything. The live performance, there's a lot of yeah, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there is. There, there is. is, actually. She yeah. prowls around yeah, yeah. the stage well. Yeah. She's got a, like a little top knot or whatever. It was all got all happening. But the whole thing just left me a little bit cold. I, 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 it, apparently, it, in its first heat. It'd be very cold. In it's super, cold. I'd be very Do cold. Do I need to get you a shawl? <laughs> I mean, like, little, wearing like, one. Uh, bring some mint. <laughs> <laughs> yes, please. Like, don't tell Kasia from Poland that I'm wearing a, an entire mint coat at this point. Um, look, apparently in its first um, go at Supernova, it came fourth and got to the next round. How does a fourth song come, even get to the next round? My point exactly. But um, but eventually it won the jury vote and it won the public vote. So they Lithuania right behind it. Um, I'm glad somebody is because I'm not. <laughs> no, I'm not either. Yeah, I don't think many I people don't, are. I don't detest it, but I don't really like it. If I had to put a bet on a song that's definitely not going to make it through, this is this is 100. <laughs> oh no, Severino. No, even you could get some bizarre <laughs> fan from them about that. This has no redeeming features yeah. about it. Yeah, I have to agree with you. I have to agree with you. But there's nothing good about it. I don't. Know, I'll I say it's not no, good. okay. I'll say one good thing about it. Mm-hmm. I like the lights on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> the little flame lights. Uh, uh, they probably got Donny Montel through to the bloody final I mean, last year. Well, they totally did. <laughs> that in a trampoline. And this, this wasn't his haircut. This ain't no Donny Montel, and I couldn't no. even. I hated Donny Montel. I know. Like, I, I hated ten songs. I, well, yeah. There's issues. There's a lighting show there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly, exactly. Maybe if she jumps off a trampoline. <laughs> she could. In those that heels would be amazing. And lands the fucking landing. I yeah. will. I will absolutely. I would pick up my phone. For I that. would pick up the phone. But at this point, I ain't picking up the phone. No, I'm, this is my no, this up the is phone. my bathroom break. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually planned it out. Like this is totally. I think I'm gonna plan to a T. That's when I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Well, I'm gonna score this. And uh, you haven't got out of the 60s for me, Lithuania. You're 64. And if you're going to qualify, it's a no. Okay, so I'm doing this off my head again. I know I gave Slovenia 12, and I gave Czech Republic 35. I'll give this a 30, because it's the second worst <laughs> yeah. song. Really? Yeah. It, it's Czech Repu- definitely in my... Oh, Czech Republic's my better. Five. I don't think it's in my bottom Oh, it's five. my bottom three. Oh, wow. Definitely, and it's worse than Czech. Oh, no, it's not worse it's than Czech. It's terrible. No. And I'm, I'm doing that off first listen. That's what I'm yeah. basing on. No, yeah. fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Okay, I, I think I think we're done. Yes. Because I think Lithuania's cool. Please move on. It's done. So we're moving on to one of our favourites, I believe. One of our favourites. This one we're probably going to be gushing and agreeing on. It's Estonia. It's Koetum Yalaura. Yalaura. <laughs> Yalaura. And it's Verona Dale. 
Get I can on. start. You can start on this one. Okay, everyone I'll, get comfortable because you I'll need about this. half an hour to sit down <laughs> to get, listen to me go on about the it. Mop. Yeah. <laughs> I adore this song. Absolutely adore the song. Again, I hark back to when we first listened to the national finals that day, and we were sitting out on the street. We're having a little cocktail outside. Um, people listening. We were listening to national final songs and people walking past and giving us strange looks, and. We know, straight away were like, this song has something special about it. Mm-hmm. Loved it. Straight away, loved it from the very first listen. Followed it all the way through the national finals. Yep. And really didn't think it was going to get through. I was very worried because the first live performance wasn't the most amazing live performance, but it got through. And I really thought Spirit Animal was going to get through. Got up that morning. When they got through, I will not lie, I cried. Oh my <laughs> I did. gosh. I'm like, I cried like like my favourite sports team had just like the North Queensland Cowboys have You won are emotionally something. attached to this I'm song. I'm so don't. emotionally attached to this yeah. song. What I, I it's very hard to put into words what I like about it. But you know what it is? I think there's some parts that you you don't you're not waiting for the chorus, you're not waiting for the hook, you're not waiting for anything. From the very get go, you're taken on this journey of of just a really good song, good songwriting. Good singers. Okay, um, a lot of people in Australia have said, if you know Neighbours, Kylie and Jason, so therefore, like, it is a little bit... I understand why people think it is a bit dated, but it's good songwriting and a good narrative and a st- good story is timeless. This is a great song. They Their voices work so well together. I think he is stronger than her, I must say. I do think they need to improve the staging for um, Kiv. They need to do much better than they did at Isti Lau because it was good, but it could have been a lot better. This is an amazing song. And when we were recently on the OJ Australia Eurovision boat cruise, <laughs> there is such a thing. <laughs> there is. This song went off. It's a strong yes. fan song. Mm. They love it. I love it. I I could talk about it all day. Well, the Australian this uh, is the Australian amazing. fan club, the Australian fan club gave it ten points. It was yes. our second favorite song. Yes. You know, only uh, only Finland gave. There's the only other country so far to give it ten points, and they're right across the little Baltic Sea, sea yeah, from each other, little... and we're the other side of the world, and we love it. So I don't know what's happening with it in Australia, but we love it. I adore the song. This is my number one song of the oh, entire competition. Oh, I'm going to buy a t-shirt. I'm going to wave an Estonian <laughs> flag. And we went to Estonia last year. They're yeah, lovely people. They and they really love lovely. Eurovision. They love Eurovision. And I really hope they do well. Oh, good. <laughs> Got all that out now, Dale, have we? I think. That was, that was kind of subdued for me. About it, it was. That was. You haven't burst into tears at this point. <laughs> pretty much good. I was just thinking. Uh, look, first of all, Easter Lau was my favourite of the national finals. Mm. Fantastic. The, the range of songs, I thought, oh, were terrific. Brilliant. Really, really good. So hence why, even though we loved this song, you couldn't you couldn't be that confident it was going to get through. No. There was Curly. I was not. There was Lise Le Masoul. Uh, you know, there was a lot of really, really good that songs. That was your there. choice. I loved that song. Yeah. Poor thing couldn't sing it. Yeah. Um, but but this, this is really good. I like this. I think, and, and again, liked it from the start. This is classic Eurovision without being dated Eurovision. Yeah. You know, um, two really good strong performers, both who have been to the competition before. So yes, I think, very good point. I think we, I, I, I don't, can't foresee any kind of nerve issues. Yep. Having said that, they've got to sort out that live performance. Yes, I agree. It's been very hit and miss. They played around with it a few times. It is difficult to represent a song about loss uh, with and and... And being connected without being connected, somehow they did it in 2015. Yes, I'm going to interject on this one because <laughs> I, and I know where you're coming from, and you're saying, yes, I can't sit there and look into each other's no, eyes. No, because that's not what the song's about. Yes, but Goodbye to Yesterday, which I think this is on par with. Mm-hmm. If not better. It depends. I, I look. I, I feel. I, if you had to make me choose, I'd struggle. But I'd probably I'd go for Rona. But I still love Goodbye to Yesterday, yeah. and they did this. An amazing. I love their performance. About they looked at each other, but there was still a disconnect. Yeah. But you were connected to their performance. The problem with Verona at, at times is you're not connected to their performance. Mm-hmm. They're so disconnected. And, and he's walking on stage out. later. They're doing those weird facial I, movements. I, 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 don't kind of, kind of, I don't mind the wistful oh. looks. I don't mind the wistful looks away from the camera. Oh, look, I the... think Laura does that a little bit better than <laughs> Coit. <laughs> <Coit. laughs> Bless him. I love him. I think he's actually the better performer, mm. more charismatic, is better with the media. 
Um, but he can't do a wistful look. Yeah. He looks like he's constipated. I know. Or he <laughs> but, looks like he left but, the iron on at but, home or something. He's like, like, he's really worried. Oh my God, what have I done? What have I done? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so, yes, there's the, the sorting out of the staging. It, they've got to do it. I think, and I'm very confident Estonia will. They're very they good at staging. They generally, yes. apart from Yuri last year with his card trick. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, dead last in the semi final. Deservedly. Um, mm, this, this, this is a ripper. I love it. I yep. think this is a Eurovision fans. Uh, this is their song. It's a wet dream for our yeah, fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I think we can put ourselves in that, that category. Oh, God, yes. Um, it's a ripper. I yep. love it. I love it. It's, it's as I say, it's classic without being dated. They're both strong performers. It's a really good song. Yeah. They've played around with a few revamps and... Just tiny little things. Twinged it here But it never changes too much. It's no, not like a revamp. you don't have to. You it's don't have not to like France. The song. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. France, we'll get onto that one. Um, yeah, look, it's a massive tick for me. I'm probably not going to be as gushy as Dale, but I bloody love it as well. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, all right. I think we agree. Okay, what's your rating out of 100? I've given this 83. I've given this 99. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 99 Look, I'm, I'm a man of extremes yeah, I'm fair at 12 <laughs> I love it, I love it It's almost to me a oh perfect Eurovision God. song And I know and I know how ridiculous it sounds fair But enough. I absolutely adore it I will like absolutely lose it If it does well on Eurovision on the night mm. I'm hoping for a top 10 performance Oh yeah, yeah oh, and I think it does, But I do actually think it'll be a lower Half of that top 10 well, in, in, in real, in, I'm being realistic. Easty Lau, the judges hated it. It was but, six, I think, from the jury. But the people loved it. It was almost, I think it was 50% of the vote. It was over 50% of the vote. Mm. They absolutely... Did you just worry about the you, juries in uh, Do you remember? No, no, but the thing is, there was. I think there was a big push. It was a little bit... I, would, I, don't, I don't want to say it was like a Spain thing. Oh, but there was a very... There was a big push for Curly to get through. Of course through. there was. It was a, it was a yeah, fantastic... Totally. Push. And so... I don't where, know what was fantastic about it, but something was fantastic. But, look, I think they really pushed Verona down, expecting... They, they were trying to... As soon as it got to the top three, then you had the super final where it was all telly vote. Mm. And I always felt like if they could get through the telly vote, they could beat her. And they did. <laughs> and they, didn't, they didn't just beat Poor her. Curly. They like dominated that. Yeah, they like, did. They, dom- yeah, they were, they were and overwhelming. If you overwhelming win a telly vote like that, mm. that does say I to me... I wonder what the hell the juries were doing. If they well, it does make me wonder about the jury mm. straight, straight away. But also it goes... This is gonna. This resonates with people, and yep. we've seen it in the Eurovision polling. OJ's top five. Mm, yes, yeah, and yep. a bit unexpected to be top five, mm. and I think it's going to do quite well. No, it reson- resonates around the world. Yeah, but I don't know about ninety nine. But anyway, yeah. Um, and so we both agree this is going to get through. We'll be seeing this we on Sunday it. morning. Yeah. Yes, I agree. I Love agree. It. Fingers crossed with a really good slot like it has in this semi final. Yeah. This could do very very well. I've written here three to thirteen. I can't see it getting in the top two, but I could certainly say it anywhere beyond that. Exactly. I yeah. agree with you. Anywhere beyond that. Is, I'm prob- is, is... I'm, if I had to really nail it down, I'm like a six to tenth. Mm, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. As long as Yara doesn't stuff it up again. Well, <laughs> she had vocal issues. Yeah. She from did. A, she, there was something wrong she with her throat. Did. Oh, poor thing. She'll be right this time. All right. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Anyway, good luck. Well, anyway, bravo, Estonia. We love Estonia. What a bloody song. Uh, if everyone would love to go back to Tallinn. Oh, yes. Oh, God. Great. Oh, you can get to the airport in like six minutes. It's fantastic. <laughs> like, You're it's doing so good. Tourism Estonia oh, shit, think, ads or something. <laughs> this podcast is brought to you from yeah, Estonia like Tourism, tourism Estonia. Board. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great city to go visit. Oh, all right, all right, all right. All right. Now, I'll, I'll get the mop out. We're, we're finished. <laughs> <laughs> We've finished with Estonia. We've finished with... We're down to the last song of the semi-finals. Hey. The last, very, very last song. It's Israel. It's Imri. And I feel alive. Do you feel alive, Dal? I... <laughs> I'm, I've got a question for you. Yes. Was Please. he ever a backup singer no, in any I other Israel never song? I, I don't know. Was he? Yes, I believe he was. Oh, I think I've heard it, but oh. it was very subtle. Yeah. He, didn't, yeah. he doesn't really like to talk about it. No, he not doesn't. At all. He doesn't at all. Not at all. Okay. And didn't he? Didn't he with Golden Boy just appear in like the last <laughs> ten seconds? <laughs> he, was. he looked like a bloody pitch invader or something that ran on and just <laughs> pretended in he was singing. In that hat. Oh, okay. what was but, going on? Okay, okay. Um, all right. You're starting. I'm starting. Oh, yeah. that's right. I'm starting yeah. with Israel. Imri, Imri. Well, I've put here, and I stand by this. This is my one of my favourite upbeat songs of the year. I gotta say, I think it's below uh, Macedonia. But certainly, it's a good upbeat song. Any year that's probably been criticised for the amount of ballads and mid-tempo songs, this one definitely stands out. 
Um, so I really like the song. I do like the song. It's a good, good up-tempo song, so good way to finish the show. Um, uh, I think that there's some um, good... I like the Eastern elements when he hits one of the choruses and mm. they throw in the... I don't even know what that instrument is, but it sounds Eastern. Yeah. It's good. I have an issue. I did see a live performance. I don't mm. think it was Israel Calling or something. No, I, I forget. It was the very first one he did. And yeah. And everyone went, <gasps> oh, God, he can't sing. Which is amazing for a backup singer. Mm. Um, no, but look, I think he can. Maybe he was I a little bit off. I think he was just very nervous. Bit off on yeah. the night or whatever. And that's fine. I mean, remember, like, there's been quite a few people who've done their first performance really quite atrociously, fans, yeah. um, <laughs> who've got better in time. Yeah. because. That's fine. You got to practice. Absolutely, Isaiah, Absolutely. I would even say. Um, so, look, there's a lot to like about this song for me. I, I think it's it's a real toe tapper. It's a real Eurovision. A toe tapper. I know. <laughs> what am you're I? sitting by your grandma. <laughs> <laughs> As I do my knitting on yeah, my rocking exactly. chair, I enjoy like, toe tapping. Um, stop it. Um, <laughs> look, he can. Yeah, as long as he sorts out his vocal issues. We Israel always bring the performance. There's no issue with that. Um, it's a good upbeat song. I bet it ticks all the boxes. Eurovision, yep. Eurovision, Eurovision. Yeah, I can't see an issue with it. Well, I would think like um, I look back to 2015 and where he was a backup singer mm-hmm. in Golden Boy. Golden Boy was uh, and <laughs> Michael hates what Golden head Boy. in hand. I love Golden Boy, but I love Golden Boy because it was this upbeat song. 2015, I would argue to say, was probably the highest quality year we've probably I think ever it's had. The strongest yep. Eurovision I've ever seen. Yeah, amazing. Ever, ever seen. That song came in the top 10. Mm. Now, I think. <laughs> well, there are exceptions to. <laughs> no, but I'm trying to say from this is that you can have like a good upbeat song. And he didn't have the best vocal in the world, but he brought the performance and he brought the vibe and he just brought this like energy to it. I feel like if he can replicate that. This is a better song than Golden mm, Boy. Gosh, yes. Yes. This is such I don't, a better song And even if you can replicate that to about 80%, this is a potential top 10 song. Um, mm. I, I think as long as... He doesn't, his vocal doesn't have to be perfect, but it does have to be 90%. That yeah. vocal I saw was He's about 50%. still going to be able to sing the song. Yeah, yeah, half, yeah. The, half the vocal, he was putting the microphone at the crowd. Exactly, because he was too scared to sing it. Exactly, and that worried, and that me. worried me a lot. Yeah, yeah. But I've seen subsequent um, performances that have been a lot better. Okay, good. Um, good. And look... I think he's like he's got charisma. He's quite hmm. handsome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We won't mention the eyes, but like he's quite he's quite a handsome guy. Yeah, yeah. And he's got charisma, and I think it'll bring it on the night. I like the song. I always listen to it. It's in my top ten uh, yeah. on a personal level. It is. Oh, it is in my top ten as well. As I say, he just it, the whole thing ticks all the boxes. It's a good song. He's yeah. a good performer. It's got it's got a vibe to it. It's got a you know. There's got something, something going, on. going on there. There's yeah, an exactly. X factor. There's yeah. an X factor to it. Yeah, and if yeah. they can bring that X factor on the night, yeah. um, then I don't see any issues with this. I do slightly worry, and I remember after that first live performance, people were like, "Sometimes backup singers are backup singers for yeah. a reason." There Not about their vocal ability, about their ability to hold a stage, mm-hmm. and about that. And so we'll 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 see how that transpires. Yes. Yeah. Well, we'll find out in the semi final because we will. yeah, yeah, because uh, there's an opportunity here if he doesn't bring it, it could get lost. Sometimes could... going last is never a good thing. Yes. At that yes. point, you've made up your decision, and you're kind of going. You have to blow myself. Well, up tell to get me my what I'm going to do to change mm-hmm. my mind because I'm kind of settled on it now. Like yep. I know what I'm doing. All right. Now, can we ever agree to we never mention Golden Boy ever, ever again? I love it. I hate it. Well, no, I think <laughs> because remember, we've got, we'll talk about the greatest songs of Eurovision at all time at some point. Oh, we will too. Yes. And that, that made the shortlist. Shock oh God. But we, have to, we, we haven't explained that yet. We'll explain it later. Anyway. But it's there. So we're going to have to talk about it one more time. That's, again, going to be the longest three minutes of my life. Well, we're not going to listen to it. <laughs> yes. We'll just talk yeah, about it. Anyway, okay. well, that's the end of semi-final number two. Well, we haven't even rated it yet. Oh, we haven't rated it. Have no, we, we haven't. <laughs> well, I've we... already shut the gate. He's through. What's your um, rating? 80. Wow. Yeah. yeah. No, I, I'm not. Only about five songs have got 80 out of me, and yeah. 80 or plus, and this is an 80. This is good. I like it. From the top of my head, this is a 75. I okay. had this high Australia. It was about six for me in the top ten. You think Australia's better than this? No, no, no. This was ahead of Australia. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So enough. this is about... I think I gave Australia 72. So this is a 75 for me. I think it's definitely through. Um, as for the final and where it'll come, I think this is a lower top ten again. I think I've put about 10 songs for the top <laughs> 10. Be a no big... one's making the top five. No, it's, yeah, it's, <laughs> it's basically Italy and Daylight. It's going to be a lot of... I've, I've given yeah. seven to 17. 
17? Well, I always like to give a 10 sort of range. Oh, Jesus Christ. 7 like, to 17, what's wrong with that? That's just so... 7 to 17? Well, you can't do that. The, the difference is... Uh, the last one I gave 3 to 13. Yeah, but it's, you didn't have an issue with but that. No, because that's like the top. When you go 7 to 17, you're talking hundreds of points there. Hundreds of points. <laughs> like, if we... Okay, yeah, let's dog it think on about the last year. Know. That's like almost like UK compared to oh, Love God, Life. Really? Yes. Oh, Can, yeah, so that that's oh. exactly where I'm talking about. Okay, compared right. to Ukraine to maybe in Austria. All right, 7 to... 14 then, all right. Is that, are you happy? Yeah, well, <laughs> like, Shaved off three. <laughs> <laughs> well, it does all make right. a difference in Eurovision. It does, it yes. does.